Hey you guys, we're back. I never know how to start off with these things. I never know how to do intros properly, but hey, we'll get that up along the way. We're wasting no time to right back into part one of Act 2, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. I finished up Act 1 last video. Thank you for all the support. It's been great. Here we are, Act 2, Mission 1. Gotta hurry up and find the next fragment. And there it is. So why is my spider sense tingling? I guess we know who the villain is. It's gonna be Sandman. Mr. Sandman. Come and take me away. However that song goes. Well, if it ain't my old pal, Flint Marco, the Sandman. You know, every time we play together, I end up digging sand out of my costume for weeks. I got a game for you to play. It's like playing at the beach, but not as fun. Marco? Marco? Polo! <laughs> we did it at the same time. That was hilarious. Oh man, I thought my jokes were bad. Sandstorm powers. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be sand in my costume after this. Here we go. So, yeah, welcome to Act 2, Part 1. We're back with Amazing. Then we'll move on to Noir, 2099, and Ultimate as usual. Then we'll on to Act 3 and after the final boss, but for now. Um, guys, we finished up Act 1 in the last video. It was great. Check it out. We finished off Electro. We saw another cutscene, I think. It's been a while. I hope we did. I don't really remember. But right now, we're trying to take down the Man of Sand. Sandman. That just didn't sound as quirky as I thought it was going to be originally. That's okay. We'll find it along the way. So right off the bat, this is this is a little bit tougher than we face usual because there's there, there's not a lot of structure. Like you get, it's tough to try and get the structure in here. By structure, I mean buildings, buildings to grapple onto, buildings to, to walk on, to move around in. It's all round and sand, which isn't good because we're fighting Sandman. You can control it all. But here we go. Yeah, the game is wasting no time. We are on a boss fight already. So it looks like the main way of beating Sandman. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Sand Monster. We've seen many of every type so far. Looks like we gotta hit him with water barrels, soften him up. And then we can land some punches, because... I don't know if you guys ever tried to punch sand before, but... Yeah, it's pretty tough. Wet sand, though, is pretty cool. It's all... It's all moist. Moist and soft. I love that word. Moist. Moist. <laughs> but yeah, Sandman, we guys don't know the lore. Sandman is a guy who... Well, there's not much to tell you. He made a sand, and he controls sand, so... Yeah, there goes that part of the show. Yay for lore. <laughs> um, he does have a counterpart. Hydro Man, I don't think we'll see in this game. Kind of less known, only known really because of the comics, but there was actually one comic where he and Sandman um, had an accident. They got fused together, I think it was, and they formed this giant wet sand creature that really couldn't be beaten with the visual tactics because it was comprised of wet sand. It was really cool. Um, it was in a comic line I read when I was when I was younger, but then my comics got all soggy because you know living under the sea can have problems. And the fact that I have claws for hands doesn't help any because I'm a lobster. Lobster. But this fight, I'm telling you, so far this fight is not too bad. Keep in mind this is the first fight, and there's no minions. We just gotta keep spraying them with water and keep laying it down. But. Yeah, it's like playing at the beach, just Punching not as fun. Sand there's sand no effect unless he has turned into mud. Thank you, Madame Webb, for that wonderful advice when he's done a three quarters health. I figured that out for myself earlier. Thank you so much for your helpful tactics. Battle strategy, not your thing. Leave that to me. Just pretty sure why I needed my help with the other dimensions. So yeah. Anyway, back to Sandman. I may have spoken too soon. This guy has gotten a little bit difficult. He's got these sand blasts coming everywhere now. We gotta keep hitting him with, with water barrels, but as you can see, it's a little tricky when I can't hit him. Because he keeps blasting me with sand. Again, right there. I should have had it, but I missed. Is this it? There we go. Boom, boom, boom. 
Not too bad. I not see that one coming on time. The sand spikes he drudges up are friggin' really hard. Ooh, ooh, is this a private fight or can I do it? Cannot be be a mess. There we go. And get a few wallops. I'm gonna wring your neck. Mr. Sandman! Come and take me away to the land of dreams and something, something, however the song goes. Song way back in the day. But the Sandman you know, comes along and puts his little grains of, of crushes and then you of your eye or something like that. I'm not a big thing. I don't know a lot about it. I should know the song. But that's not this Sandman. This Sandman is Spider Man. He is mad. He's trying to give us a different kind of nap. Not a fun one. By the way, that didn't work. Try it again. There. I got a better idea for how to deal. That's nice and ominous. Yep. All right. Where's this one now? Um. Up? Maybe. Anything I missed? So it's this is yeah it's a little difficult because you can't you, you don't have the swing ability as, as much as you hear like the last one we played was electro and we were inside the dam and the open areas were they were hard to move around and in the dam we couldn't really do a lot of swap swinging either I mean that that water part with those civilians I died so many times it was so hard it was so contained and now he's got sand buddies. I have a feel that ah, didn't work. Come first served. Yeah, we're gonna have to hit him with water. Just like Sam and himself. And some for you. Hit him before he dries out and wall beat him some more. It's like playing at the beach. But not quite. Think about that though, if you're at the beach and you're playing around all of a sudden these little sand golems popped up, blah 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 start chasing you around. I know the leader is running the water, he's pretty much safe, but. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that. I didn't come out nearly as funny as I thought it would, but okay. Moving along, we're trying to beat up these guys, because these are a lot tougher than normal minions in the sense that you have to hit them with a secondary water spout or barrel before you can even do any damage to them, and then once they dry out, you gotta do it all over again. And yeah, it's a bit tricky, and the camera angles don't quite help either. There we go. Now we're making traction. Making progress. So these guys definitely, I'd, I'd say the, probably the best strategy for fighting them is stay as close to a water spot as possible. Because then you can just keep getting continuously wet. And then you just lay the hammer down. You don't have to worry about grabbing barrels or getting them close to it, but... Even so, you get three or four of them in a room and it, it, it gets tough. Is that it? No, he's still up. Let's get him down. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Victory! Leading already! Uh -oh. Never stay in cuddle! That solves that. Mr. Sandman! Where did you go? Where did he go? Up? Can we go up? No. Okay, let's just go through. Out to the open world of sand again. Fun. Well, this should be fun. Look at all these wonderful lack of buildings. It's going to make for some great and interesting web swinging. Lots of water barrels. Looks like, yeah, I'm going to have to comprise most of my time of just zip kicking around. Because there's not really anything I can grab onto. Cause it, even the sand is, it, it's walls of sand. I mean, you cannot grab onto sand, it'll just pull right apart. So I gotta stick to the walls and hope for the best. Or not the walls, or the floor. And float around on these barrels, I guess. What's up, dudes? Talk about having the floor pulled out. 
And there's more salmon. Yay! Not really, but yeah. Mr. Sandman, why don't you leave me alone? But I guess anyway, they can't, because one, if the goons are taking orders, two, if they're golem type creations, well, they just obey the work of their of their masters. Kind of like Minecraft. You guys play Minecraft? It's supposed to make really golems in Minecraft. It's because they're pretty similar. So it's way more angry. Way more angry. And he wasn't wet enough. For, uh, there we go. That's the hard part. Like these guys, like the other villains we faced, are yeah, they're tricky. Like some of them have blocks, some of them do this, some of them do that. But these guys, you have to actually hit them with a secondary object prior to being able to damage them. That makes them very, very tricky. Because you get swarmed and you can't get in, you're, you're not going to make any progress. That's definitely what makes them the hardest villains so far to face. Is these guys. I mean, as far as boss wise, every boss has their own tricks, right? So. Sandman has come to fetch it, but on minions you have to use, you have to, like this guy here, we're gonna hit him with water again. Now it's not a water barrel. Now it's not, wow, what am I doing? There we go. It's getting these guys to send you your object before you can attack them, and that, that makes it really difficult. Ashes. Uh, serious, you you consider therapy? I can't avoid it. Wow, I've missed trains before, but this is the first time uh -oh. I've missed a platform. This is a little bit tricky. Gotta get, gotta get, there we go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta get my cereal. <laughs> oh, I probably too young to remember that song. Well, maybe not, depending how old you are when you watch this channel, this show, but it's okay. See, that's the tricky part. Like, we can't we just, just swing. We gotta zip line across. And, and that's what happens when it touches the floor. Yeah. The floor's not lava. It's made of sand with giant hands that'll grab you and take you away forever. Makes it difficult. So, yeah, the spider swinging is, is definitely tricky. Um, the main thing now is just trying to get. I forgot where to go, really. I mean, we, they, they showed us the water tank in the cutscene, but. Talk about having the floor pulled out. I'm not quite sure how to get serious. there. You consider therapy? And all I end up doing is keep hitting the spots with these guys that kind of don't really lead me anywhere. But if I can take them out of the way. I'll keep dishing it out if you keep taking it. I even avoid them if I can, but I think I'll just try and take them out because then it, it shouldn't come back take to bother me in this section anymore. But you never know. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Really, these guys, I said it before, and I'll say it again. These guys are really tricky because you got to hit them with with the water first. Hey, uncle. If you ever get surrounded by them, well, you're gonna have problems. The water spout is definitely easier. Can you go the water spout? They'll get wet and just make it easier to get through. But all right, back to this section. Try and uh, do our swing ring across. Wow, I've missed trains before, but this is the first time I've missed a platform. There we go. And back to more dudes, it seems. Yeah, so this, this, whoops, this area looks like it's, it's, it was an old mine, that, so right here, this is like an old mine shaft, Thanks, but it, it's like a, it's a quarry almost, where they had mines and, and platforms and such, it wasn't sand, and over time it just fell apart, of course, having the giant Marco Flint, aka Sandman hey, tornado, flying around doesn't help much either, but, but, um, yeah, it's definitely tricky. Interested to see where we go. If we stay in this open area, I don't think we play well. And if there's more open areas, if we go into deeper into a mine, it should be interesting. So it definitely looks like we're in a quarry with these mine carts and uh, mine platforms. So I think I got them all. Maybe. No, I didn't quite. Oh, no, falling again. There we go. 
and it, it shows little mud balls and they roll around. It makes it really, really difficult because you can't hit them and they're hard to avoid. Of course, you get onto the platform, so I'll have it if I don't recover fast enough. I'll get sucked into the sand and jump. There we go. There we go. See, these guys are definitely tough. Tougher than minions I've faced so far. Well, that works. Yeah, there he is. Last one is indicated by the slow mo matrixy style cutscene. Well, not even a cutscene, it's more of a graphical change, I guess you call it. But zipping across these crates, this is. There we go. Yeah, definitely some sort of quarry or minecart, because hence the, uh, the the tracks going into the walls, and the silos and such. Nothing up here? No. Alright, we're well, gonna be close to that. We gotta be, we've got to be close to that. To that. Uh, what am I trying to say? Water tower? Water spout? Water bucket? Giant thing? It's called a water tower. Unless I'm going completely the wrong direction, but I'm pretty sure there's only one direction we can go to at this point. Um, yeah, it's definitely over here. There's any secrets either. So I mean, this this is if this is all this is, it's just a giant arena fight. Like yeah, it's great, but I mean, my, my one problem with this level so far is that it's got a, definitely a little lack of sense of direction as to where you're supposed to go, and it's very very easy to get turned around. Um, I, I hope there's more after this section. I really hope there is because it's just a giant tornado fight. Like yeah, it's fun and it's unique, but it's a little lacking so far, but we'll see how that goes. But hey, I'm still having fun here with you guys. We're hanging out. Again, guys, thank you for all the likes and subscribes. I haven't gotten a lot, but hey, it's more than I've had before. Because one or two is always better than nothing. You'll always remember that. As long as you have... If you have something, as long as you have some food, some house, some shelter, some blanket, you know, some friends, it's always better than having none of the same thing. It's a rule of life. This is where we're supposed to go, right? I think. Yeah, there it is. Now, what are we supposed to do? Just getting prepped for bad guys coming. If there's any, I don't see any. So, there's the tower. Oh, yeah, here we go. Prep work paid off. That's Batman. Was this Spider Man theme song? Spider Man! Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Yeah, that's the right one. There we go. Yeah, I'll apologize for my horrible singing voice. I'm not really... I am a, a talker. I am not a singer. The Lady Lobster. She's a singer. I feel like her on here one day. Do some singing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Little Trixies. Trixie Little Water Towers. What's wrong? Moisturizing is supposed to be good for the skin. Where are you going now? Can I come? Huh? Huh? Can I? Well, okay, there we go. So we are going to be heading to the water tower. So guys, thank you very much. We will cut it here and pick up where we left off next time. Bye-bye.